Welcome to the rodeo, people. Did you know that some of the trail rides that meet up at Memorial Park for the rodeo parade pass through Rocheron? Well, yes, and here it is. Each year, the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo draws more than 2 million fans who want to take part in one of the most authentic ways to experience Texas. Now, this all began in January of 1952, that's when the very first trail ride took place with just four men from Brenham, Texas. A year later, in 53, there were 80 people who signed up to start the Salt Grass Trail Ride. By 1954, there were 800 participants, and today, there are more than 3,000 riders who saddle up from all directions, including Louisiana. All trail rides are led by trail bosses who are responsible for ensuring safety, and you see Mr. Anthony Bruno here on the screen. But there are approximately 11 trail rides who participate in the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo Downtown Rodeo Parade, and 1,300 miles are covered by all 11 trail rides, with the shortest distance being 75 miles by the Valley Lodge Trail Ride, which begins in Berkshire, Texas. Many of the horses on the ride are rescued animals, believe it or not. And many of the trail rides include family members and generations of all ages. Of course, you know, we're in Houston, so there's always traffic, especially around the NRG Stadium. So pack your patience. I'm going to now be silent for a hot second to see if I can bring some of the rodeo experience to you through your screen. Please bow your head with the impaired. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that. Our national anthem salute is brought to you by Cavaliers of City. The style of the stretcher lane from River Oaks Baptist School will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. The Star Spangled Banner will be performed by Anita Jones. And carrying our nation's flag, Shelby Pearson on horseback. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States. Oh, say can you see by twilight's last gleam whose broad stripes and bright stars to be 
meet up with friends and family that you haven't seen in a while and take in all the goodness that the rodeo offers. In addition to the traditional events, the Houston Livestock Show also features a variety of entertaining acts, concerts, and musicians. The event is hosted some of the biggest names in music, including Houston's own Beyonce, Garth Brooks, George Strait, we've seen Alicia Keys, Mary J. Blige, Ashanti, to name a few, LL Cool J. The list goes on and on and on, but just know you're going to always have a time in a kiki at the Houston Live Search.
were watching the conclusion of the mutton busting competition, they are rolling out the stage so that the concert for Black Heritage Night can begin. This year, it is hosted by none other than Mr. Trill himself, who's on Bun B again, he hosted it last year. But this year, it is Bun B Southern Takeover, and some of the performers will be Eric Batu, Scarface, Juvenile, David Banner, Will Flint, Nina Fresh, and so many other artists from the South. As I'd like to bring you guys the concert, I'm not risking any copyright strikes on my channel, so I won't do that. Just to know that we had an incredible time, and afterwards, we wanted to take in all the festivities of the carnival. However, because it was so jam packed, keep in mind there were 74,000 people in attendance for the concert alone, so it was so packed afterwards that I just couldn't do it. We went home and decided that we will return to the carnival in a couple days, and this is what we're doing here. We're entering the carnival. I'm in love, you're a star burning. <laughs> So three rules for the carnival to live by. Wear comfortable walking shoes because you're gonna be walking. Make sure you have enough money because <laughs> everything costs. And number three, make sure you have your own tissue and or wipes because we know how these quarter cans get. So this carnival has a kitty section which includes kitty rides, kitty games, and they have all the sweets in that section. So desserts, crazy desserts. And I love all the desserts because I'm a sweet person. But make sure you have your money because these kids will be begging you. So after we 
took a stroll through that section, played a couple games. We decided, hey, we're gonna get on some rides as well. So here we go. Oh. Baby, one of the most incredible things about the carnival. This is Houston, so automatically you know we have good food. But the sausage on the stick, mm, my mouth is watering looking at it right now. The Mexican street corn or elote that the other homegirl, she loves. You'll see that in a second. And the smoked turkey leg is bomb. They just really have good food here at the carnival. So make sure you bring your money and bring your appetite. guys we want to remind you to like the video and subscribe to the channel as we near the end of the video we're going to share some stills with you of our fantastic time at the rodeo we hope that we were able to in this video allow you to experience the rodeo through our lens we will be back here 2024 houston livestock show and rodeo again to bring it to you again until then we gotta go because these people are trying to get us out of here hurriedly and they are bringing stuff in already for the ncaa final four yep that's being hosted in houston this year too i'm telling y'all houston is where it's at coming up in our next video Rose Sharon is growing. So right on FM 521, we have three commercial spaces that are coming up, which is going to bring more businesses to our area, more opportunities for entrepreneurs who are looking for office space and more conveniences. We have all the details of the businesses that are coming here. So stay tuned.
always feel free to reach out to us for all your real estate needs and know that the homegirls are always ready and willing to enable you to find your way home. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.